So we're live at the Home Forward corporate office on the sixth floor with Deputy Executive Director Michael Bonacourt, Bonacourt and Public Affairs Manager Shelley Marchese. And we are here with mainstream media reporter Angela Blessing. Angela, the first of mainstream media's reporters, always does an exceptional job profiling businesses and organizations here. And Angela, you had questions for both Michael and maybe Shelly as we get going here. My first question, Michael, um, is what inspired you to be um, working for Home Forward? Well, one of the things that I love about Home Forward is that um, Home Forward does a really nice job of providing housing for folks, but also uh, works really hard to provide a lot of support for people who have different kinds of needs. So um, we don't usually do that ourselves, but we often partner with other nonprofits who help, you know, kids with homework and people with developmental disabilities and seniors stay stable in their housing. So I think um, the mission of affordable housing is important, and I think Home Forward recognizes that housing and supports for people are really important to go together. Before you worked here, did you have to live in a small apartment and did you have to work your way up and what was it like when you were a kid? I did. When I, um, when I left home, I joined the Army, got married and I had two kids. When I got out of the Army, we came back um, home and didn't have a place to live and didn't have jobs and so we did live in a very small apartment. Um, we probably could have used um, Section 8 assistance and uh, we were just fortunate to be able to find work and slowly kind of get on our feet. Um, but I've definitely been in a place where uh, I understand what it's like to need some help and you know, for example, to have two young kids and worry about how you're going to try to feed them and stay in a house. Uh, my other question is, do you, do you like to watch movies? I do like to watch movies. Because I noticed that in your office here, you like have Enjoy the Show ticket picture and you have all these little film things and, and what made you to be inspired to do that in here? Uh, well, I do like movies and I've also done a very little bit of acting and it's something that I enjoy for fun, but I haven't done that in, in quite a while. My other question is, um, can, can you picture yourself still working here in the next 12 years? Yes, I can. Um, like I said before, I really love working here. I think the people who work here um, really care about what they do, and it's a job that I that I love. I'm really lucky that way. Um, another question is if someone is having a hard time in their apartment and they really want to like, still keep their place but it's just too difficult, what would you say to that person? What I would say to that person is, um, you know, sometimes it's hard to find help when you need it but we are pretty lucky to live in a community where there are things available to help folks when they're struggling and, uh, and so there are people and organizations that might be able to help. You know, we have a great resource in the community called um, 211. A person can dial the numbers 211 on their phone and explain what their situation is and the folks on the other end of the line will help them um, try to get connected to a place that can help depending on what's going on. And my last question, it's going to be a really hard one for you. Okay. About how many apartments here in Oregon do you have on, on Section 8? Well, we have um, almost 8,000 Section 8 uh, vouchers in the community and sometimes those are those come in different forms we have some special vouchers like some to, that help veterans specifically um, so uh, it's a it's a little bit of variety but it's about 8,000 it's a lot of folks that we help through section 8. And that's a good thing. And my other question is for people who are new to the state or 
the, our country. It came from um, Somalia or from Africa somewhere, and they have a speech language problem. Um, can you help them um, be on Section 8 as well? We can. We have actually uh, folks who speak a lot of different languages. I don't even remember how many it is. I want to say maybe 23 or so. Yeah. It's in the low 20. A lot of different languages are spoken by people who get our help. And we have a staff um, that speaks a lot of different languages as well. So um, folks can get help um, by our staff who speak different languages. And a lot of times there are, uh, again, organizations in the community that serve new immigrants or refugees, and um, a lot of times we'll work with case managers from those organizations who can speak both languages. And is there ever a time where you have to turn someone down, and, and if so, what would the reasons? Unfortunately, we, uh, we have a lot of folks who are eligible to be served, who don't, you know, who, who don't make a lot of money and could use our housing assistance. Unfortunately, the amount that we have available is um, is not enough to meet the need of how many people have it. So there are folks in the community who could use our help, but um, and we, we can't help everybody, unfortunately. Can someone be like really rich, like um, the president, and still be on Section 8? <laughs> well, if someone um, signed up for Section 8 and they, and they had a very low income, and then they became the president and got a lot of income, um, they could have a period of time, about six months, where we would give them, we wouldn't help pay their rent, but um, they could technically still be on the program so that if they got fired from being the president, um, they would there would still be a little um, window of time when they could come back on the program and get help. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. But I, those are my other questions. We changed it for uh, several reasons. First of all, um, we serve all of Multnomah County. And so uh, there was confusion over when we had Portland in our name. Um, there was confusion over that. And we wanted to make sure that it was more clear that we served, you know, didn't just serve Portland. And we also took the opportunity um, to choose a name that we thought said more about what it was we actually do. We help people um, find a home and have a home, and we also help people move forward um, in their lives. And it was important to us to have a name that talked about both of those elements of our mission and what we do, and that's how we wound up with Home Forward. And, but it absolutely started with um, wanting, feeling like we'd outgrown our name. We'd had our name for 70 years and it had served us well, but we really felt like we were had moved beyond um, Housing Authority of Portland. My other question is, um, a lot of people ask me this, and I tell them I don't, I'm not sure, but how long can we be on Section 8? You can be on Section 8 as long as you need to be on Section 8. So. Um, if someone is in a situation where they need assistance for their life, if they have, um, if they're a senior who and on a limited and fixed income, for instance, um, there is not an end to the assistance, um, the section eight assistance.